Hello friends. Today we are learning the topic. Hello friends. Today we are learning the topic proof by mathematical inductions and design and analysis of Fulcott rhythm. Mathematical induction is a mathematical technique which is used to prove a statement, a formula or theorem is true for every natural number. This technique each includes three different steps, base steps, induction hypothesis and induction steps. In base steps, we have to prove that given statement is true for the basic initial value. The basic initial value means either you can put zero or you can put one. In induction hypothesis, that is the state number two, we have to assume that the statement is true for any value of n equal to k. It means the variable n you have to replace with the k. In induction state, we have to prove that the same statement, the given statement, problem statement is true for the nth iterations. It means the same statement you have to prove for n plus one iteration by using the induction hypothesis. We'll see with the help of example. So the example is the sum of any two consecutive integer is odd. Any two consecutive integers, it indicate, it means the integers which are consecutive to each other. It means either it is one or two or three or four or four or five. So the addition of these two integer means one plus two, which is equal to three and it is odd. So we have to prove any two consecutive number, three plus four, which is equal to seven is odd. So seven is odd. We have to prove this statement with the help of mathematical inductions. So let's start. So whenever we have to prove this statement, we have to assume that the given statement is true for certain conditions. So we are assuming that the sum of two consecutive integer is odd. So let's say n equal to one. So step number one, which is the basic steps in that we have to prove the given statement is true for the initial value. So now we are considering the initial value is n equal to one and n equal to two. So n equal to one, and the consecutive integer is two. So one plus two, which is equal to three, and three is a odd number. Now the same statement, this three, we can replace with two m plus one, where m is any integers. For example, if you are considering m equal to one, so two into one is two plus one, which is equal to three. It means this m can be any value, any integer value. After this step number one, we have to prove the step number two. So step number two is induction hypothesis. It means the given statement is true for n equal to k, this thing we have to assume. So we are assuming that whenever n equal to k, it means k is a given integer and k plus one is a consecutive integer. So k plus k plus one, which is equal to odd. So this is the true statement. This we are assuming into the induction hypothesis. This is our equation one. Now moving to the step number three. In the step number three, we have to prove that induction steps, it means for the nth iteration, the given statement is true. So n equal to k plus one, nth iteration, k plus one. In the step number two, induction hypothesis, we are assuming n equal to k. So after k, it is k plus one. So we are assuming it is true for k plus one also. So the given number is k plus one, k plus one. The consecutive integer plus add, we have to do plus add, plus add one. So k plus one plus k plus one plus one, that is k plus two. So which is equal to k plus k plus one plus two. Now we are just separating the thing. We are just separating this two. 
we are just separating this two and rearranging the variable that is k plus k plus one plus two. Now this k plus k plus one is odd from the equation number one, which is proof into the step number two that the given statement is true. So k plus k plus one is odd. So odd plus two. So whenever we have we have to know that the property of the even and odd number that even plus two is always even number same odd plus two is odd number so odding two to any number does does not change the oddness so we have to prove that if n equal to k is true and which is odd then we can say that n equal to k plus one is also odd Hence, it is proved that by the help of mathematical induction, the given problem statement, the sum of any two consecutive integer is odd is proof. We will see one more example. So the next example is for each positive number n, the series is given there. That is one plus two plus three plus dot 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 plus n, which is equal to n into n plus one upon two. This problem statement contains two sides, LHS that is the left hand side and the right hand sides. The same series we have to prove is true using the mathematical inductions. So in the mathematical induction, as we know, we have three steps. So step number one, which is the basic step, which we are proving for the initial value. So initial value we are considering n equal to one. So if you are considering the LHS, that is one plus two plus three plus N, N is one. So the LHS value is one. Now RHS is N into N plus one upon two. So we are putting N equal to one. So which becomes one in the bracket, one plus one upon two, which is equal to two, two by two equal to one. So we are proving LHS equal to RHS because both having the one value. Now we are proving it for the step number two. So step number two is induction hypothesis in that we are assuming that the given statement is true for n equal to k. So we are putting one plus two plus three plus dot 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 plus k, which is equal to k into k plus one upon two. This statement is true. This thing we are assuming that true. After that, there is an induction, there is an induction step. So in the induction step, we are proving n equal to k plus one. For nth iteration, we are proving. Here, we are doing the separate LHS and RHS. So first we will solve the left-hand side. Left-hand side will be one plus two plus three plus dot 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 k plus k plus one. Now the value of k is k plus one. And before k plus one, the number k is k. That's why this is the series. Now, if you notice one plus two plus three plus k, this value we can replace with k into k plus one upon two. From where? From the step, from the equation number one, from the step number two. So from this equation, we can prove that if one plus two plus three plus k is equal to k into k plus one upon two. So the same value we are inserting here plus k plus one as it is. We are solving this and by solving this, equating the thing, we get k plus one into k plus two upon two. This is the equation number two. Now we are solving the RHS. RHS is n into n plus one upon two. So now n is k plus one. So k plus one into in the bracket n. n is k plus one plus one. So which is k plus two upon two. This is the equation number three. So now from using equation two and three, we can prove that LHS equal to RHS. Thus we can say that the given series that is one plus two plus three plus dot 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 plus n, which is equal to n into n plus one upon two is true for each and every positive number. I hope you understand I hope you understand the mathematical induction with the help of the, these two examples. Uh, for more examples, you can watch our next video. Thank you so much.